stage. What are you, like, sick? You must want something. Whatever it is, forget it. You okay? I'm fine. Why don't you just tell them? What's the matter? Poor Davy upset about something? That's why. What's going on? His family moved across town, and he had to change schools. Oh, poor baby doesn't like being a new kid. If you think it's funny, why don't you try changing schools? You don't know anybody. You get lost. The kids treat you like you're invisible because they already have their own friends. If that means I'm being a baby, then I guess I'm being a baby. It'll get better. Yeah, you'll get used to it. Might as well make the best of this. So I came up with a story. Now you're talking. It's about two kids who have to go to a new school. It's strange for them at first, too. But what they find out is this school is far stranger than they could ever imagine. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story. The Black Brook School was supposed to be one of the best boarding schools around. So when Mr. and Mrs. Wilson had to go away on business, they thought it would be the perfect place to send their kids. So, what do you think? Classic post-industrial payroll construction. I think it's charming. I think it's a pit. Uh, well, I think we should go and try and find the tailors. Come on. Augie and Jasmine had never been to a boarding school, and they weren't too happy about it. If they had only known what was waiting for them, they never would have set foot inside. Why can't we just go with you? Honey, we've been through this. We don't want to disrupt school. So you ditch us in this prison? We're not ditching you. It's not a prison. It's a very well-known, highly respected... Oh my God. What was that? Okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It was just a nightmare. In the day? Marie? I knew we shouldn't have left you alone here, poor dear. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Uh, she was having a nightmare. Marie's been running a fever. She should be in the infirmary. Delusionary dreams are often caused by elevated temperatures. You must be Augie. And Jasmine. Welcome to Blackbrook. I'm okay, really. It was just a dream. Well, we're not going to take any more chances. Off to the infirmary you go. What's that? Class change. Shall we all meet in my office? Some call us old-fashioned, and they're right. But at Blackbrook, we believe an orderly environment is essential to the learning process. What's with the buzzing? It's our tone system. It signifies the end of classes, meal times, wake-up calls, <laughs> just about everything. Different frequencies for different events? Exactly. Yeah, the tones are soothing. Not like the typical jangling bells in most schools. I'll bet you were adopted. Now, if we can... Uh... Ah, ah, ah! Ah, ah, ah! Mr. 
Lieutenant, are you all right? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Um, forgive me. Uh, I've uh, been having migraines. It, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, watch out. Well, is there something we can get you? No, no, I'm, I'm quite all right. Please, <laughs> let's continue. Because things happen for a reason, and I understand that. Yeah? What's the reason that guy went nuts in there? Did one of his little tones tell him to freak out? No, he had a headache. Headache? I thought his brain was gonna explode. And if I gotta stay here, my brain's gonna explode too. Look, Jazz, you can get crazy and make a big stink like you always do, but it's not gonna change things. If Mom and Dad could take us with them, they would, but they can't, so get over it. Augie, I've never been away from home. It's only for six months. We can handle it. We have to do it for Mom and Dad. Yeah, well, I'm not wearing one of those lame one uniforms. That's official. I'm a geek. I'm gonna miss you so much. Me too, Mom. Promise to write once a week? I promise. You guys be good now. We will. I love you. See you in about a month. Bye. I think that means dinner. My programming tells me you are correct. I will follow. sort of grain meal, like grits. Doesn't look so hot, but it's good. We get it for dessert every night. I think I'll pass as well. I'll show you where to put your plates. That buzzer is going to make them nuts. <laughs> The kids were pretty cool, and they seemed to like the place. So Augie and Jazz figured they might as well kick back and try and fit in. Still, there was something just a little bit off about the Black Book School. Like, some very strange rules. Willie! We've talked about this before, young man. No sad faces. We'll just remember next time, won't you? Are you nuts? Excuse me? Don't let anybody see this. I'm not bothering anybody. It doesn't matter. You're not allowed to listen to music on school grounds. Why? Rules. The tailors say it gets in the way of the learning process or something. It's bogus, but they're pretty strict about it. If you're gonna listen, be cool about it. After a couple of weeks, they got used to the rules and even started to like the place. Then, one night, things took a strange turn. Like that. What is going on? 
like they're all hypnotized into knowing exactly what to do. Yeah. But what are they doing? Okay. I want to find out what's going on first. Our work is finally going to pay off, my dear. The incubation is nearly complete. Won't be alone much longer. The master is pleased. She's been patient these hundred years. Her patience will soon be rewarded. Then we can shed these infernal trappings. <laughs> Toast. 
to our troubled past and our glorious future. To the master. I don't understand. Are they aliens? I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is we gotta get out of here and tell somebody. We can't. They'll catch us. All you ever do is follow the rules. Well, the rules just went out of the window, pal. You talked me into staying here, and now you're gonna get us out. I am going to go get dressed. You get a grip. Jazz, let's go. I got a plan. If we hook. Ah! Children have been naughty. You should have eaten your sponge like all the others. You're a monster. of a race that was doomed to extinction until now. We've nurtured the eggs for ages. Soon they'll hatch, and once again we can populate the Earth. And you use the kids to take care of them. Genius, don't you think? It's ironic. We're a race of meat eaters. All kinds of meat. Once the eggs are hatched, the children will serve Another purpose. The young ones will be very hungry. <laughs> We're trapped. Very few children have caused problems the way you two have. But when they do, they always end up down here. You're very lucky. You get to meet the mother.
did it. You did it. Oh, yuck. It's better not sting. The tailors. couldn't stand high frequency sound like when my watch went off and no one could play music in school it just fit i may be a chicken but i'm smart <laughs> I guess when we got the money, we got along. This is like a dream. It is. And you're not gonna have nightmares anymore. This meeting of the Midnight Society closed. And uh, make sure to go straight home, guys. Why? Because tonight, a school night. <laughs> <laughs> 